Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitaCoaching.com and uh, we are talking about dating success for women. The topic for this video is network dating, the key to find the right man. Okay, when you hear the word net network dating or the expression network dating, you might wonder what this is about. Um, the idea is very simple. Rather than focusing on just one man in the beginning, in the early stages when you start dating or flirting or looking really for, for finding a, a, a man out there, uh, the goal is really to keep your options open and stay in contact with a few men, as many men as you can in the, in the beginning. This works especially if you are online, for instance. I will give you a few tips that are very important so that you don't get hurt, so that you don't get your hopes too high and then feel like you are rejected or that there is a man out there who you like, who does not respond to you. The goal here is really to keep your options open and protect also your, you know, your emotions and, and uh, make sure that you don't get hurt, so make sure that you don't have a crush on a guy and then that he you know, doesn't respond to the extent of uh, your, you know, your, your expectations. So the key is very simple. In the early stages, for instance, when you go online, if you are in dating sites, you know, suppose that you found this dating site and uh, identified it as being the place where you want to be a bit more active. Okay, the first step is to start answering or responding or interacting with as many men as you can. It is not to go online, find the profile, the person, the man who you think is going to be, to be the right. Most of the times when you do that, when you find a profile or you find a, you know, a face, somebody that you, that you really, like, really like, you will see that very often you will come across somebody who is either already taken, who forgot to take off his profile, or is already in a committed relationship but still wants to play around, or um, maybe there is, a, you know, there is something else in, in this person that uh, disqualifies him to, to be with you in the long term. So the goal is really to keep your options open and make sure that you don't commit yourself to somebody before there is a clear sign that it can work. So here is what you can do. The first thing is to realize that being online, for instance, is a, a way to train your dating skills, to develop a dating body that you, you can really feel comfortable with. Uh, if you go online and, um, and simply focus on just one person, most of the times this is going to crush you or, you know, it's going to be tough because maybe the man is not going to answer to the extent or, uh, or to uh, respond to your expectations. So again, the goal is to keep your options open and see this online environment as a training ground. The same if you are going to, uh, to parties, uh, going to clubs, you can see all that as a way of activating your social life in general. And that's the first step. Uh, once you start interacting with a few men, you will notice that there might be two or three of them who you feel much more attracted to. Maybe if you are in touch with 10, 15 men, which is relatively easy to do when you're online. You will notice that after a while, there is this attraction that starts building up and there is a response, really. It means that it's mutual. Uh, the man you are attracted to start responding to the same extent. Then you can start narrowing your, your window and start investing a bit more time and energy into these, these guys. Now, we are not yet talking about commitment, right? It's very important that you stay emotionally free, that you don't give your life to somebody un until it is clear that it's a two-way commitment. So you don't want to function as if, okay, now that I'm interacting with that man or with these two men, I, I give my life to them uh, before uh, there is a clear sign that it's, uh, it's, it's mutual. This is the place where you have to be very, very careful. You have to stay in charge of your life and realize that the energy that you give away is something that you have to get back in, a, in one way or another. So it's important that you invest yourself to the extent that they invest themselves back okay, into, into that system. And uh, you will notice that once you have this, uh, you know, selected two or three guys that you feel, okay, these are really good potential. I feel that I could really have a relationship with one, uh, one or the other of those. Then the goal is to take that one step further. Eventually, you know, meet them face to face, have a date, have a, you know, an interaction with them, which is, uh, which gets into real life a bit more, maybe phone conversations, personal emails, this kind of stuff. Um, and, uh, but w when you are in that stage, you know, still kind of interacting with two or three men, you still don't have to commit. You still can keep your options open and still maintain the, the possibility to choose for one or the other, uh, you know, with the, at a later stage. So you stay within that area for maybe a period of uh, two or three months very often. Okay, I hope this makes sense. You take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.